What's up everybody? So, I know I've already done this video once, however, let's do it right this time. Because, to be honest, the quality was a little poor. So, now we're gonna do how to patch your tarps properly, properly. First, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. You can find links down in the description down below, but your best bet for tarps is to find a solid tarp shop. You're gonna want gloves. They're not necessary, but it is a pretty dirty job. Next, you're gonna want your rubbing alcohol to clean the tarps as well as the patch with, and of course, paper towels. You're gonna to need scissors to cut the patch. You'll need cement glue, and of course, spare tarp for the patch. We'll talk about tarp tape after I have gone over how to patch the tarps properly. And of course, you're gonna need your tarps. Step one would be to spread the tarp out completely. A truck, a truck stop parking lot works great for this. Um, you wanna really check for any type of hole. Uh, small holes turn into very large holes very quickly. And don't be discouraged if you get holes in your tarps. It happens to everybody. This was actually from the last video that I posted, the last load on the way home. Remember when I said that I wasn't concerned about those edges because they were rounded? Oops. So what I like to do is I like to cover the entire area of the hole plus about two inches on every side of that hole. That way you get a nice, good, solid hole uh, yeah, you're going to use a lot of tarp material, but you really want to protect those tarps. You don't want holes. You don't want stuff getting in. Um, and as you're pulling down with the bungees uh, to really tighten that tarp down, you need that extra room so that way it's not pulling that patch, not tearing it away from the tarp. This will really set those patches in very well. Then once you have your patch size, you wanna go ahead and take that rubbing alcohol and clean the to be patched areas and the patch. Uh, there's a rough side and a smooth side and you want to clean those really, really well. Um, when you're patching, I should have mentioned this earlier, you wanna patch on the inside. If you patch on the outside, the lifespan of the patch is actually gonna be shortened. Uh, plus it looks better if you patch it from the inside. So. Um, go ahead and patch it from the inside. Step number three, and I forgot to mention this actually, you're gonna want some type of Brillo pad or sandpaper pad, that way you can rough up the, the edges or the side that you're going to be gluing together. You wanna do this on the tarp side as well as the patch. Step number four is you're gonna spread a generous amount of glue on both the tarp as well as the patch. And then what you wanna do is you wanna wait about a minute or two and let it just solidify just a little bit. Not much, uh, but just a little bit. And if it's really hot outside, you may even wanna cut that down to about 30 seconds to one minute. Uh, then you're gonna take those and you're gonna press them together nice and firmly. A nice little trick is you can take the can of glue and you can actually roll that patch onto that tarp and that'll get all of the air out of in between the tarp and the patch. Next, you're gonna wanna make sure that all of the sides are have plenty of glue on them and are firmly down against the tarp. So you're gonna wanna go around this uh, very meticulously and make sure that the entire edge of the patch is pressed up against that tarp. Then you're just gonna wait. It takes in the summertime roughly five minutes to completely dry. Um, when it's winter time, which it was here, um, you can, I mean, it took, a, it took about an hour. I, I put together two patches and the first patch was about an hour to dry. On the second one, we actually used a hair dryer 
uh, and it dried it almost immediately. So you may want to consider having some type of hair dryer or a heat gun on the truck and that will expedite things if you're patching during the winter. Let's talk about the tarp tape really quickly. It doesn't work as well as the old fashioned way that I just showed you. It just simply doesn't last as long, but it does have a place. It's really good in a pinch. Uh, let's say you're on a load and you need to patch something really quickly or you're at a customer and they want zero holes. Uh, it's good to have, uh, but overall you wanna do it the original way and use that full glue and take that time to do it properly. Well, now you know how to patch your tarps properly, so now you have no excuse. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you could, share it out to Facebook for me. That would be greatly appreciated. Uh, subscribe if you haven't down below, and remember, stay driven.